I have a very important topic to discuss, and that's the Apple Watch. More specifically, its charger. The $29 question is what's going on in here, and can I make it myself? I can't find anywhere online. Nobody's taken one apart. There's no videos. There's no, there aren't even any knockoffs available. Seriously, China, what the heck? You, you counterfeit everything. You're not gonna make a charging cable? I'm gonna take this thing apart and see what exactly is going on in here. And what I wanna do is take apart another wireless charger that I have and see if I can rewind the coils so they're a little bit smaller and see if it'll charge. It looks like there's a seam around the top here though. Basically, I'm just going old school here. Jamming the knife inside the edge here and I'm just gonna try and pry the thing apart. There's definitely wires. We've gained access to the meaty innards. This is definitely your magnet here in the middle. Ta-da! It looks like this thing was actually waterproof or sealed up. If you look here, you can see there's a layer of glue all the way around and it's completely filled with some sort of epoxy or something like that, metal backing. Then we've got the actual coil here. In the middle, we have our little magnet. Go ahead and test and see if this thing still works. Cell phone chargers that I prepared earlier. It's alive. It looks like they basically just made this coil smaller. Try to put it on backwards. You, you can tell there's some interference with the magnets here, but it doesn't actually stick. By the way, in case you're wondering, that's the price of Bitcoin up there. It's skyrocketing for the holidays. This here is made by these guys, 5,000 milliamp anchor. It's a cell phone charger with USB ports, but it also has wireless charging built in. You will notice that the Apple Watch does not recognize it. The Droid Max Verizon. Beep. Wireless charging has begun. I've actually had this apart before because I've had to repair it. I guess I should turn it off. All right. But there's your regular charging coil. Now if we compare the two, there's a slight difference in size here. The $99 question is, can I modify this coil to work and charge the Apple Watch? This material here, as I thought, just basically comes right off. It's just barely even glued on here. Is what they have here. It says bullwill inside this thing. I'm not quite sure what that means. Coil in the middle, plastic outside, metal backing, which having a metal backing is standard for all wireless charging formats. By the way, I'm waiting for the glue gun to heat up here. But it looks like all their circuitry is down inside here, right here in the middle. There's a little circuit board. Yeah, you can see the you can see the edge of the board uh, sticking out. I mean, I know it requires some circuitry for wireless charging to work. I'm just hoping there isn't some sort of weird encoding in there. I would just assume that they just shrunk it down to a weird size so it wouldn't work. It's ingenious that they make the whole coil the exact size of the center, so that pretty much guarantees you it's not gonna work. My arms and hands are wasted now. It was a lot of work, but totally freehand, with a hot glue gun and a flat blade screwdriver, I shrunk this coil down. What we have here is two layers. Okay, we have confirmation that the thing is on. Okay, nothing with the Apple Watch. Okay, it's still charging the phone. And if we compare here, there's clearly not uh, not nearly as many windings in this as the Apple Watch charger has, so it may not be enough. Either that or there's some sort of locking circuitry in there, which wouldn't surprise me at all. I'm pretty convinced that Apple put some sort of security in here, and that's the reason that it won't work with anything else. I have not seen one counterfeit cable for sale, and I would assume that if it was easily doable, these things would be flooded in the market. I don't know what they did, but there's some sort of sorcery there and it's, uh, it ain't working. So there you go. We've taken apart the cable. Tempted to make our own unsuccessfully, but at least now you know what's going on. Maybe a little bit. I'm gonna take a